What's going on all my YouTubers, haulers and ballers, go-getters, grinders, people that wake up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I'm going to get money. What are we going to talk about today, JoJo? We're going to talk about um, setting yourself apart from your competition. So yeah, you want to outshine your competition. If you're sitting there on the couch wondering why your phone ain't ringing, maybe get off your ass, get out there and make some stuff happen. Go knock on some doors, pave the pavement. And just get out there. How important is that, JoJo? It's important to do everything you possibly can to outshine your competition. You want to be like the big dogs, like 1-800-GOT-JUNK, Junk King. You want to be like the guys you see at the dumps all the time. Out here in Santa Rosa, the people I see all the time at the landfill is going to be junkaholics. So you want to be like those guys, the ones you always see at the landfill getting money. So... It's really important to outshine your other competition. Don't worry about the crackheads doing it for super cheap. They're not going to last. They'll end up dumping stuff on the side of the road. And you know what? You'll get a phone call and you'll go pick it up. So you don't need to be the cheapest people. Just charge like you would charge like 1-800-GOT-JUNK, JUNK KING, a little bit cheaper maybe. And just uh, outshine your competition. How important is that, JoJo? That will set you apart from everyone else. And after you've been doing this for a while, you can actually pick and choose the jobs you want. Like, I'm spoiled now. She's spoiled now. We get phone calls for jobs all the time. You know what? We don't take them all. We really pick and choose the ones we want. We don't do dirt. We don't do concrete. We do the easy stuff like garage clean outs and stuff like that. So you want to get to the point where you need to pick and choose the jobs you want. We got a stack of flyers at the house that we're going to mail out to apartment complexes, but we've been so damn busy, we ain't going to do it till wintertime because we're just busy. Yeah. And, I, and I love picking and choosing my jobs. Yeah, it was it was time consuming to do their postcards, and I like those because when you send them in the mail, it's everybody that comes across them, it's an advertisement, so that's good. It took time to do, but it'll be worthwhile. We'll send them out when we start to slow down a little bit, but that hasn't really happened. So yeah, as long as you're grinding every day, waking up and just repeating the same thing, posting ads and getting your phone to ring and getting these repeat customers, it will happen where you can just pick and choose your jobs. It's not going to happen overnight. We actually went and bid a job a couple of days ago out in, I think it was Guerneville, California. Me and one of the guys showed up, we looked at the job and it was about two and a half to three loads. I hit the customer with the price. He was like, someone else said they do it for $6.75. We ain't going to do that for six seventy five. dollars Believe that. There was at least $400 worth of dump fees there. So don't be like that guy charging hell of a cheap price and just putting that wear and tear on your vehicle. And you got someone you got to pay for labor and you just, you ain't making that much money. So pick and choose your jobs. I just had to walk away. No big deal. I'd rather go do something easy. So don't be scared to walk away from a job. And maybe that guy just seen a picture of the junk and maybe he showed up and upsell you. I don't know. But uh, anyways... You want to get to that point where you can pick and choose your jobs and just uh, make that good money. Look like the big dogs. So we're heading to the first job of the day and it's for a realtor. And uh, yeah, we just left the landfill. Yeah, we did. We had to do that first thing in the morning. Sometimes your days in junk removal start off in the landfill first thing in the morning. Yeah, we've been so busy. We haven't been able to go to the landfill and uh, yeah. It feels good working every day, hauling and balling. I can't wait for winter time so I take a little bit of time off guys, so yeah. So hit that like and subscribe button down below if you guys haven't yet and uh, follow along. So we are pulling up to the first job of the day and it's for a realtor. So yeah, love your realtors. I love them. How about you, Jojo? Of course I love them. I love them long time. And another thing you guys always want to do is show up early. 10 minutes early is always on time. So yeah. Look at that sexy thing back there. I was talking about you, babe. The truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're just waiting on a realtor. And yeah.
later and we're heading back to the landfill. Back to the landfill, baby. Oh yeah. With a much fuller load than we thought it was gonna be. We'll talk about that in a little bit, guys. Now, my favorite part about owning my own business is we get to take breaks whenever we want. So it's coffee time. Coffee and edibles. Cannabis, baby. <laughs> Why is that where we're at? I'm just playing. <laughs> no, we're getting coffee right now. I've been clean for five years, guys. So yeah, I don't do that stuff. But anyways, yeah. Best part about owning your own business is you get to do what you want whenever you want to do it. Ain't that right, Jojo? That is so right. That is exactly a good reason to own your own business. You better buy cheap coffee, babe. The smallest one possible, just black coffee. I'm just playing, get whatever you want, you angel. Look at JoJo over here stepping on all that California green right there. I'm just playing name, bud. <laughs> She's looking at it like it was, bud. So check out this bathroom. Oh my goodness. This place is pretty damn cool. Imagine being on some shrooms or something. Oh my gosh. Crazy. So we back at the landfill talking more trash and uh, that job was supposed to be four mattresses and two chairs. And what happened, Jojo? Well, it was one of those awesome jobs that just continues to grow as you're doing it. So it ended up being a full load. And that's why I like keeping an empty trailer when I show up to jobs. I mean, you can't do it every time, but it worked out today where we got a full load out of it. And tell them about the realtors. Yeah, well, you know you're doing something right when the realtor that puts the property on the market called you um, to have you clean the property up. And then a month or so later, you get a phone call from the buyer's agent that also wants you to do some stuff to the property after the buyers have bought the place. And it was not a referral. They just called us up individually. So you know you're doing something right when people are just calling your phone. And it happens all the time. So keep grinding, guys. And for you hustlers and grinders out there that are having a hard time pricing jobs and you're struggling, just keep doing what you do. It's like playing basketball. The more you play, the more you shoot, the better you'll get at it. Ain't that right, JoJo? It's right. It's like before you know it, it's swoosh, swoosh, and your phone's ringing. Oh, yeah. So we're back here at the landfill doing what we do. And, uh, yeah, we're getting paid today, so... So I'm not too sure how you guys get motivated in the morning. Some people drink their coffee and listen to some motivational speech on YouTube. But me, personally, before I head to my first job, I'm like, America, fuck yeah, about to pick up your trash today. That's how we do it out here at Sonoma Strong Holland, guys. So we're heading to job number two, and we're going to switch vehicles because out here in California, it's a pain in the ass. You can only bring couches to certain dumps, and I got a couch inside the other trailer right now, so I'm gonna go pick up the Tundra and the trailer, and we're about to go pick up some, what is it, dressers and some couches. Ain't that right, JoJo? Yep, two dressers and a fold-out couch. And we'll see what else they got. You never know. It's a repeat customer, so stay tuned. We're about to get it done. Now, the main reason why I'm switching vehicles is because we got a couch back here, and tomorrow we got a busy day. The redneck needs to take this out. And this thing needs to be empty tomorrow because he has a full load first thing in the morning. Now let's talk about the Toyota Tundra. This 5.7 liter is great for junk removal. This trailer is super light. It's not that heavy, about 3,000 pounds. And I don't pull concrete or dirt and stuff like that. So this thing gets it. It's a 2008 Toyota Tundra and this setup right here I had for about a year and a half and this made me around, I would say, over $400,000. That's almost a half a million in, in about a year and a half. So 
about to head to the job and get it done. So I like to keep these trailers empty at all times because you never know when a full load's gonna come in. So we're about to get it done. So yeah, if you're thinking of a pickup truck for doing junk removal, the Tundra gets it. It's a beast. So yeah, I'm about to head out. JoJo's grabbing the keys real quick. It's all about juggling your time and getting stuff done. We got a super busy day tomorrow. The redneck will be heading out doing his own thing while we head out and do our thing. So yeah. We're gonna knock this job out real quick and take the rest of the day off. And I'm gonna shoot the bows in the backyard and get ready for deer season. So, yeah. So, JoJo grabbed the keys, and guess what just happened? Some lady had a job and I didn't wanna do it, so I hit her with a high price. And guess what happened? <laughs> She's doing it. <laughs> doing the job. So, yeah. That ain't this job, it's another job. So, yeah, I hit him with that high price to make it worth our time. And she said, okay, let's get it done. I was like, oh, shit. So, but anyways, we're gonna get it done. So we're heading to this job real quick. We're gonna knock it out and uh, we'll be back to the house to relax for the rest of the day. I'm excited, are you? Yeah. Relax, take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. So let's check out the job. Let me turn this thing around real quick. Let's see what they got. I don't know if all this goes or not. That stuff might go too, I'm not sure. Let me turn this camera around real quick. So she said the rocking chair stain and wow, looks like a trap spot. So we don't know what's going. She said what the dressers are going. Looks like a lot of this needs yeah. to go, huh? I think maybe there's more than she thought. Probably, huh? And she said everything well, we'll find out. Oh, I thought I was gonna shoot the bows today, babe. What the hell? Oh, shit. Hey. I thought I was gonna shoot the bows today. Look at that. If you're living like that, you're a filthy animal. <laughs> Your mama should slap the shit out of you <laughs> right now. Look at that. Oh, gosh. What is this? Wow. So we'll find out when she gets here. There's a whole lot more stuff than she said, huh? It's a repeat customer. Um, yeah. Whole lot of stuff. All right, let's get the couch. Are you excited? Yeah, I've, I've where's the couch? You didn't see the couch? No. <laughs> I'm seeing all this other stuff, other van. It's right there. Smell the cushions. I'll give you 20 bucks right now. I'll pass. Sure. It's Tiffany. Make sure um. there was no homemade porn in there. Might need to bring that home, baby. So tip of the day with these sleeper couches, what you guys want to use is use a tie. And what you want to do is right here. You want to make sure that the bed don't pop out. So I found a little piece of red string right here. A little red rope, whatever it is. I'm just going to tie it up. You can use whatever, whatever you got. But that's what you guys want to do. You want to make sure this is secure so when you guys are walking through the hallway, that it don't pop open on you. So that's how you do it. You can use duct tape. I even use plastic garbage bags before just so this thing don't pop out when you guys are moving it. Because that will damage the wall. So that's the tip of the day. Guess what? The damn sleeper couch won't fit through the door. I don't know how they got it in here. I took the door off and went and fit, so we're gonna break it down. We're gonna break it down. First piece off, Jojo. So when you gotta do stuff like this, you gotta charge more money, guys. And always wear gloves, okay? Oh, now we got a better chance for it to fit through there. Oh, 
the damn shit show. This happens. So you want to do drunk removal, it's fine. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Oh, I think we'll fit now. What do you think? What do you think, America? <laughs> do you think it'll fit through the door now? I believe so. And that's how you don't want to do it, but we had to do it that way, so yeah. So there's also two dressers back here they want gone. I don't know if they're gonna pick up the rest of the trash up. That's all around here, but that dresser goes and that dresser goes. I don't know if they wanna take care of all this little stuff by themselves. So I'm waiting for her to show up. She ain't answering the phone. So yeah, we'll just wait till she gets here. So guess what? That's the second time today this has happened. Show up to a job and they want more stuff done than what they asked for when we first got there. So we're gonna do one full load then come back over here at a later date and knock the rest of it out. What you gotta say about that, Jojo? Sounds good. Sounds like cha-ching. Cha-ching, 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 <laughs> baby. Like. Now it's a race to get to the dumps because they close at three o'clock and we gotta get there. So we're grabbing all the big stuff right now and then we'll, uh, yeah, let's do it. Think we'll make it to the landfill or what? What do you think? I don't know, we'll see. Give me a water too, babe. Yeah, I reversed this thing about a half a mile out of here too. Oh yeah, fun. Almost sat down on a screwdriver. That would've been all bad, huh? Now, if your hats don't look like that, and you ain't working hard enough. Filthy, sweaty, dirty, get money hats right there. We made it, babe. We made it to the landfill. And uh, the funny part about the landfill is these guys don't work that fast throughout the day. But when it's about to be clock out time, <laughs> they hustle. <laughs> they hustle their ass. When it's almost three o'clock, they're out there just Getting the guys in and out super fast, so we'll be out of here pretty quick. It's 2.35 right now, so yeah, this should move pretty quickly. So what's your prediction of the dump fee, Jojo? 73. You sure you want to go first? <laughs> 73. I'm going to say, damn, that's pretty good. I'm going to say 80 four dollars and leave a comment down below what kind of videos you guys would like for us to make and we'll make them and damn i need to shave babe look at that yeah. yeah yeah she loves me anyways you guys should see me at nighttime walking around the house with my gut hanging out in my boxer briefs you have no <laughs> idea how sexy i really am so but the predictions are in right yeah and, uh, let's see what happens yeah let's just see what happens so guess who won? I said 72. It was 42. I was way off, but I was still the winner. But I was way off. So if you guys like these videos, hit that like and subscribe button and we'll keep making them. Yeah. Ain't that right, JoJo? Oh, we sure will. We love making videos. Oh, yeah.